This video is brought to you by Spader VPN. Spider VPN connect with us, enable you to browse, game, and stream safely online. Make sure you click the link in the description below. Bonjour, everyone. Welcome back to the Magpie Channel TV. This is your Southampton preview, the start of four away games in a row for Newcastle United. Fans are going to be travelling well over 2,000 miles over the next week, where we've got three away games, Southampton tomorrow night, Thursday, Chelsea on Sunday afternoon at Stamford Bridge, and then midweek we travel to Goodison Park as well, all the space for a week, then we do have about a 17-day break, mind, and then we'll go to Spurs after that. So it's a tough time now. We've got some, we've had obviously a brilliant run, eight games unbeaten. We've got that big win at home to break the other day. Now is a test away from home, a few in a row. Eddie Howe was asked about it this morning and he was saying, you know, it's a tough run, it's a hard run. He disagrees with the Premier League and the way they've scheduled these games. But uh, of course, as always, they've got absolutely no, no care in the world for the travelling to Normie or travelling fans in general. But big up every single one is that is embarking on these few away games, especially the Thursday game tomorrow at Southampton, a 660 mile round trip. Now I know all more about it all well and about it more than anyone else because I'm bloody living down here at the minute, as you just know, whatever you don't know. I'm doing me master's degree down here in Southampton, so I'm living here. I'm literally 15 minute walk from St Mary's where I am, where I'm living at the minute. So nice and close one for me tomorrow, thankfully, but not for the majority of the 3,300 travelling to an army. So respect to everyone that's going. Shout us, gives a, gives a, gives a bonjour or whatever if you see us. Looking forward to seeing everyone, looking forward to linking up with a few people that I haven't seen in a bit, because obviously a lot of Saturdays I've been doing the DR Sports stuff, so I'm absolutely buzzing for this game, to be honest with you. You get back in the away end, it's going to be absolutely class. Going to Chelsea as well on Sunday, so it's a good week. Looking forward to it. Really looking forward to it. Big game tomorrow. Let us put the animal specs on to talk you through a couple of stats and a couple of team news that Eddie Howe has mentioned. But I, I'll be here, so happen. Early doors tomorrow, on the drink. Lovely stuff, can't wait. The away day pub tomorrow, Yates in the centre, so get amongst it. Start off with a bit of team news. Eddie Howe had his press conference a couple of hours ago. We all know Trippier and Wilson are out long term. Um, apart from that, we're looking good. Fernandez slight knock, but Matt Ritchie has been training and is available for selection again. Uh, don't think we'll see him. Matty Target coming up against another one of his former sides. Started at Southampton in the early days. Played against Villa, obviously, for Newcastle last month. So I'm sure Matt Target will play again. Ritchie may be involved in the bench, so it should be a good personality in character to have in the dressing room, no doubt. ASM is fit and ready to go. Now he's only had a couple of training sessions in the last couple of weeks, says Eddie Howe, but obviously he came on against Brighton, looked lively. But a lot of people were giving him shit, actually, in our comments on the on the vlog and stuff, saying he gave the ball away loads. But, you know, he makes that difference when he comes on. He lights up the play, he takes people on, he gets them behind. So I'm sure we'll see St. Maximum feature tomorrow. It'll be interesting to see. Keg will be here for his end of prediction, 7pm tonight. Whether he makes changes, he was asked about rotation today, Eddie Howe, and he said he just, he didn't, they basically didn't want to change the winning formula. He said if someone comes into the team and does well, the reward should be that they stay in the team. Otherwise, they'll think to themselves, what's the point in trying hard? But the point is, is that the way we've been playing, the run we've been on, obviously the same reason why Bruno can't get in the team, you know, he doesn't want to unsettle things. He wants to keep that, that momentum going, and you can understand that. But with these games coming thick and fast now, a few games away in a row um, in a week you know he's probably going to have to mix things up will he do it on Thursday? remains to be seen he, he may do late we could see St Maximum start we could see one or two changes um, be an interesting one Vayner prediction Keg will run that through that for you tonight now Southampton have a lot of ex-magpies in the team don't they? obviously young Adam Armstrong went there for a decent fee what was it 15 million or so in the, in the summer from Blackburn Um I've, I've seen a couple of Southampton games here at St Mary's. I've been with a couple of the uni lads. I've watched them draw 2 2 with Leicester. I watched them beat Villa 1 0. And I watched them last week in the FA Cup when they beat West Ham very convincingly as well, with, with a lot of changes. They made loads of changes last week, but they were still decent. They play some good football in our Southampton. I really rate Ralph Aston. I think he's a class, class manager. Um, he plays good football. They've got good moments in, in possession, good moments out of possession. They, they play quite intensive. They've got good passages of play. He knows what he's doing with his tactics and his formations. Ralph Hassan, who also he's a clever, he's a clever bloke. He's a good manager. I do rate him, and I do rate him. When I've seen him, they've been good to watch. Good side. 
You know, so I think they've um, they're unbeaten in about ten games at St Mary's. And if you look at the Premier League form guide since the start of January this year, Newcastle are obviously second in this table, uh, just behind the league leaders, Liverpool, league winners, league champions, should I say, Liverpool. They're not leading the league this season, are they? Just behind Man City. But Southampton are still in that bracket. They're still in this table as well. So they're having a very, very good year. So that in the top 10, doing well, playing good football. Um, as I mentioned, ex-Mag Adam Armstrong, he hasn't looked great. Like, he's only scored twice in the Premier League this season. One of them was a screamer. It wasn't he the one that won the penalty, I think, for, New- for Southampton against Newcastle earlier in the season at St. James's, where, they- where Ward Prowse slotted at home in the last bloody seconds. Fucking class that was. Um, but yeah, he's a bit of a threat, Adam Armstrong. I- He's not really found his goal-scoring feet, but he's still he's a nuisance for defenders. He's constantly on the move. He's he's got good little touch and goes. He he gets the ball quickly, gives it away, and makes a run. He's he's a decent little player. I think you know he's, the potential is there. We all know that has been for years. Fraser Force has been featuring a lot in goal lately for Southampton as well. Um, X Mag obviously big big success at Celtic when he left Newcastle to go there. Other team news for them is that Nathan Teller and Alex McCarthy. Normally their number one choice keeper uh, or sideline. Shane Long and Salasu could return. Bastard. Knew that would be the case. Salasu is, is a is a beast, you know. Absolutely class at centre back is Salasu. Newcastle reportedly offered 30 odd million for him in the sum in uh, January just gone there and had it turned down from Salam's new owner. Didn't want to let one there star players go. He is a huge talent, big prospect at centre back. Um Looks like a really solid all-round defender. Really could be their next Virgil van Dijk or Liverpool's next centre-back. Hopefully ours. I'd text Alisson like he's class. But um, obviously, he'll probably be back for tomorrow night. And Walker Peters, who's having a great season at left-back. He's obviously a right-back, but he's been playing at left-back. He's been he's been terrific for them. And El uh his fitness is also questionable at the minute. Has Nuno said we're unbeaten in seven league and cup outings before the 4-0 pumping at Villa Park that they got. Uh, on Saturday, just gone, but on home turf, they're unbeaten in 12 league and cup games. Uh, Wolves are the only side to win at St Mary's in all 15 games so far this season. They drew with Man City, didn't they? The other month, they did. Asking, answering your question there. Um, the, they are the Premier League home draw experts. So they've got a, a Premier League high seven draws with their five wins and one defeat. Four of those draws were 1 1. So. They do love a bit of a draw, but they do love not getting beat as well, so it's, it's not bad if you're a Saints fan. But uh, that's the thing, that's the talent thing. I mean, that, that defeat, the manner of the defeat against Villa came out of nowhere, getting thrashed like that. I know they had a couple of injuries. That Stevens came in at centre-back, looked awful, so hopefully he plays tomorrow night. <laughs> but uh, yeah, off the back of a pumping, Southampton, Newcastle off the back of another win. So our confidence is there, our momentum is there. Let's hope we can carry it into this game. I'm buzzing for it. Can't wait to get into the ground, get amongst the Toon fans again. Looking forward to seeing everyone. Looking forward to seeing the boys on the pitch. Looking forward to seeing Eddie Howe and Jason Tindall on the side lane. Looking lush as always. And hopefully winning again would be absolutely tremendous. But I've got to say, I do think it's going to be a tight game. We are going up against an unbeaten side at home in a lot of outings. Like I've just said a lot of draws. Guess what I'm going for? A draw, obviously. 2-2. Two, two. I'm going to go 2-2. Two, two. I think there's no doubt Newcastle will win this game. Um, I'd probably take a draw, to be honest. But do we look to win this one and then try and draw Chelsea? But obviously, yeah. And then Everton next week's massive, with them being right in the thick of the relegation battle. But yeah, I'm going to go for a draw in this one. Let us know your score predictions in the comments below. Stay tuned. We'll have the vlog tomorrow night. We'll have an instant reaction, maybe a couple of fan reactions. Um, a build-up video during the day. I'll be out and about in Southampton. And Keg will be here tonight, Wednesday night, 7pm, for his daily prediction. Cheers for watching, everyone. We'll see you on the next one.